Well, let's just start on, on Tuesday. It, was, yeah. Do you know what, what that result was down to? Just a blip or, or, or was it perhaps uh, after the Lord Mayor's show? What what are your thoughts on it? Uh, I'm not too sure. Like, to be honest, I didn't. I didn't see that coming, if I'm honest. Um, it's just, <clears throat> we conceded the goals at the wrong times. And uh, after that, in the second half, they were just sitting behind the ball and it was hard to break them down and get any opportunities. Um, you know, we'd be going into Saturday and looking to put it right. You know, we've had <clears throat> three good results previous to that and hopefully that's just a little blip in the, blip in the road. Do you think there was any overconfidence after the great results against the teams in the top four? Mm. Do you think perhaps overconfidence could have crept in? Mm. Possibly. I don't think so. Do you know what I mean? I think we were all still fully focused on on the task ahead, you know, the that we knew that what their what their strengths were, you know, they like to just to chuck it in the box from everywhere, the long throw ins and stuff like that. So it, uh we just did we just didn't didn't deal with those with those threats as good as we should have and uh, that's eventually what made us lose the game. I'm sure you don't want to dwell on one result, but let's take it as a whole. The recent period and the turnaround's been yeah. been fantastic. How enjoyable has it been for you to be part of it? No, it's been really enjoyable. Uh, you know, it's been a difficult season up until now and to start putting a, <clears throat> a little run together would be would be great and you know, we're obviously fully focused on trying to get ourselves out of the situation we're in and uh hopefully we can still use them uh, positive results against them the good teams in this league, uh, to get us out of the situation we're in now. When you were eight points adrift, did it feel like there wasn't any light at the, at the end of the tunnel because it was it was bleak about, what, three weeks ago? Uh, I think you always know <coughs> there's light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, it's just making sure you do things right all the time, you know, make sure you're training right, make sure you're doing everything right to go into the game on the Saturday and start that run and trying to get that run together. And, and that's, what, and that's what, what we did. We put them three games together, but obviously... Um, uh, Tuesday night it was a blip and hopefully we can put that right again come Saturday Obviously you've been here for a while but let, let's just touch on the, the season as a whole are you, are you surprised about how things have turned out obviously I guess at the start of the season you expected to be at the other end Yeah you know when you look at our squad we've got a, a, a very good a very good squad but uh, you know it's, it's hard to put your finger on what has exactly gone wrong this season uh, I think it's obviously as numerous Numerous things that have have happened and have have gone on that have cum culminated into us being in the situation we're in. But I think now we're <coughs> we're looking we're looking up, we're looking forward and trying to get ourselves out out of this position. I think we're two points, is it now? Uh, so if we can put another another run of games together and get ourselves out of it. What has been the, the the reason for the change around in the last few weeks? Obviously, there's been an influx of players who have played their part, but can you put your fingers on other things that perhaps have, have you know those results, especially against those top teams? Um, yeah, the the players that have come in, they're good, they're good players, uh, good pros as well, and we got uh, <coughs> a few leaders out there now uh, that can help drag the other players through the games if they're having a difficult time and stuff like that. Uh, I think everyone, bearing in mind the squad, the team or as such has only been together for three, four games now. I think we've sort of gelled pretty well as a as a group. Um, but hopefully, <coughs> we're going to need the rest of the, the whole squad for the rest of the season, and um, hopefully, we can get some momentum going going again. Oh, what about personally? You've been asked to play in an unfamiliar position. How, how are you finding that? Um, to be honest, it's not that unfamiliar. If I'm honest, I've played quite a lot of my career at left back, um, and I'm I'm comfortable as comfortable playing there as I am as a midfield player. To be honest, uh, I did I played a lot of my my youth team there, where you're learning you're learning your your trade as such, and now I've played <coughs> I've played quite a few games there. So you know, I'm happy to play anywhere for the team. To be honest. Is it something you find quite easy then to adapt? Because obviously a lot of your Knotts career has been in, in midfield, mm. but there obviously are different styles and situations, but you seem like a guy that, you know, because judging by performances, you've slotted in really easily. Yeah. Um, it, obviously the gaffer became aware that I'd played in this played in the position before, and uh, it's just about getting your mindset right and knowing knowing your job and knowing what's, what's asked of you in that position, uh, and then just adapting into that role um, I'd like to think I've done alright I can do better um, but you know I, I enjoy it there and at the end of the day I enjoy playing football So, Just finally how much of a test do you think Drummond will give you on Saturday? Yeah they'll be a good team I know they're 
their strikers up there. He's a leading goal scorer, so it's going to be a tough game. I think going to Tranmere is always is always difficult. So I would be looking to go into that to that game the same as same as the as the other games. You know, we'd be looking to go there and try and win the game. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. How would you sum up your season, Rob? I mean, it's been a bit of a, um, a varied one. Isn't it started off with Crawley, back yeah. at Knox, several managers. It's been a bit crazy, hasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, no, it's been a crazy year, you know, obviously leaving Knots in the summer, going down, signing for Crawley, then coming back again a short time after, and then obviously <coughs> getting two managers since in that time as well. So, no, it's been, yeah, crazy ride, but <laughs> I suppose that's that's football at the end of the day. As one of the, the, the surviving members of the squad who's at Eredi Dawes, how much has the mood changed throughout up until now, is it a completely chalk and cheese environment to what it was early on in the season? I think, it's, it's, it, as I said before, it's difficult to put your finger on it. Like what, how the obviously when you're losing games, the mood is slightly down a little bit, and you've got to try and drag yourself out of that. If you just go into training every day and try and do the things right, then you're hoping that your performances in the end will you'll start winning games and then obviously the mood around the place feels a bit better. Obviously the three results recently it's, has brought a bit of light to the place and everyone feels a bit better but then obviously we had the set back on Tuesday so now we have to put it right again for Saturday. What, what has Neil Ardley done since he's come in that's perhaps been different and sort of engineered this, this change in form? Um, I think he's, for me personally, when you're playing out there he sort of gives you a, a freedom to play. He's not... He's not always telling you, giving barking instructions from the side, telling you what to do when you're on the ball. You know that can cloud your mind at times. Um, but he's been brilliant. He's tried to get the lads together, tried to create a good, a good, a good environment, a good, uh, comfortable place to be playing your football. And um, and no, he's been he's been really good. And obviously, new father recently as well. How's yeah. that? How's that treating you? Yeah, no, he's been he's been good as gold. To be fair, I know he'd be getting a few sleepless nights, but up until now, he's been there. He's been good as gold, so. Came to the game on Tuesday, didn't he? Yeah, he came on. He came on Saturday and on Tuesday, so I think my missus getting out of the house and uh, to bring the little man with him. It was nice for him to be here. So. What's that like dealing with that as a footballer? Because I know when we speak to Nathan Thomas, he mm. found it quite tough because there's obviously a lot of things going on at home as well at the same time. Uh, it's been fine to be honest. Like he's he's obviously a a nice distraction for me, you know. And obviously if things aren't going so well on football, you get home and. You, He's there and he sort of takes your mind off it a little bit. Uh, so now it's been fine. It was a bit strange. Obviously, the birth was on the Friday and then playing Lincoln on the Saturday was a bit was a bit strange. But no, it was fine. Brilliant. Yeah. You're looking forward to playing Tramier again. Near our first win. Yeah. Are there, are there things you can draw from that game? Looking at this one. Yeah. Obviously, we'll look back on that as a as a positive experience. We won the game. Um, so hopefully we can take take bits and pieces from that game and take it into the to Saturday's one. What's the mood been like in training today? Back in after a day off yesterday, has yeah. it been sort of a mood of positivity despite Tuesday? Yeah, you know we need to keep positivity around the place. You know when you're feeling good and you're feeling positive, then you go in the game confident and looking forward to it. So that's what that's what we'll be doing. Fans are going to be there back in again in their numbers. What sort of difference have they made? You guys in no, they've days? been brilliant in recent weeks. You know they're turning out in their numbers and supporting us. Uh, no matter what, so you know we'll be out there giving our all, and uh, hopefully we can get a good result for them.